Good morning guys, super exciting day today because I will be getting a new car or I should say we will be getting a new adventure vehicle. And the sad part is this is probably going to be the last time we see this guy. The Bearmobile. So let's take one last look at this guy. Well actually we don't need one last look because I still got to go to the car dealership. Um, we're actually going to get some breakfast first, some yummy yummy breakfast. And we're in this plaza, and I swear this plaza is made for healthy things. Cause look, it says green proteins, and it says the sweat store, and then like wax hair removal. Well, this isn't really healthy, but like in terms of like looking good. And then we found this restaurant that's called Rise and Shine, a steak and eggs place. And then there's like nutrition outlet. So I don't know if this is like a bodybuilding plaza or something but this is really cool it's like a one stop shop to look good oh my god i'm so traumatized i saw this guy walk over there and i thought he was just kind of pulling on his pants to pee oh i didn't even think of that remember that one time we went to go check out houses and then he just like yeah straight up walked over there and just pulled his pants down yeah no hesitation no flinches no looking around it was like so natural for him yeah Come we're on. like Tucker, what are you doing he goes watering the grass we're like Okay. I didn't see it. It was you and our realtor. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, monkey. I missed this dry heat. What is this area? Is like a rodeo area? Follow Mr. Taika. Wait a minute. You're hungry? Papa's hungry too. That's cute. I love it when he says he's hungry. Because for the longest time, he didn't really like eating that much, and all he ever wanted was milk. So the fact that he does like food and likes to dance makes me happy. This place is kind of closed, though. Is it closed? Or are we just early? I don't know. Is it closed? Where the hell is the game door? Are we in a farm? What's going on here? All right, check it out. Here's the steak and egg section, and they weren't lying. Steak and eggs. Steak and burger, steak, ribeye, New York, New York steak. Hell yeah. You know, you were talking about steak and egg, steak and egg? They even have little steak and egg for what? kids. This is the first time I've ever seen One it. One egg, it's small cute. steak, hash browns. That's CUNY. Yeah. Oh, it's CUNY that the kids and the seniors eat the same thing. Yeah. 11 or 55 plus. Yeah. That's CUNY. Super cute, right? This is a steak place. Mama? Yes, baby. They put it down. What do you mean? They put it down. Mama, they put it down. I think you messed with his artwork. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know. Don't do that. what are you doing over there? I'm taking these things. Mama, you're covered. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. What is that, monkey? Okay, no sweat. Thanks. That's what you do. That's Jerry. I don't even know what he's saying. You know what he's saying? What did you say, baby? That, that's that blue ketchup. That's red ketchup. It's blue ketchup and that's red ketchup. Oh. Well, it is made from Heinz, so he's not wrong. That's very smart. What about all these little guys? What are all these for? Jam. Get the coffee. That's for the coffees? Good job. If you guys are ever out in Vegas, out on this side, this place is pretty cool, especially if you're on keto. They got so much keto friendly things. Look at that. Keto friendly, keto friendly, keto friendly. They even tell you what goes in here eggs, red meat, chicken, bacon, Thank cheese, you. avocado, mushroom, veggies. That's really cool. And then you have like a vegetarian side. Look at all these vegetarian things. That's really cool. What is that? If you had to take a wild guess, watermelon juice? And strawberry. What made you want to get that? I mean, watermelon juice sounds bomb. Taco loves sandia, huh? Oh, you some. Oh, this is really good. It's really good. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> oh, he loves it. <laughs> What'd you get? Yours looks bomb. Oh, that was a good job. You want this? You want it? His face is It's too cold. 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 It's too c
He says so cold. I got this nice coffee. They call it like Italian roast or something. It just sounded good. I don't even think it has sweetener. I think it's just cream and like a good roast of coffee. It's good. It's very aromatic. Oh, mix it. It's still kind of wet at the bottom. I'm getting all that cream. How cute. You see it's aromatic? More? What, baby? That's a more one, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, I love extra ice. What are you looking at, Mama? So I was looking at one of the waiters and yeah. he brought um, somebody a cup and it had like a puffy thing on top. Yeah. So then I was like, what is that? And he goes, it's called a cup of bread. So I looked it up. Oh. <clears throat> What's it's that like a, it looks like a croissant. That, I don't know, maybe like syrup? a dipping sauce. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. So then I was like, it we're getting like this. It's like puff pastry thing. You know, sometimes you get chowder and then you have like a... Oh, the little top. thing on top? Yeah. Yeah, but it looks independent from the mug. Yeah, it's not soup, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know good. what's inside, but we're doing it. We're yeah, doing we're it. We're doing it. That I know. Looks I know. freaking legit. I know. I'm I got ahead of myself. Dude, look at the batter's like a brown. I know. I'm usually not a uh, pancake sweet. person. No, no. I am a pancake person. Oh. I'm usually not a. That's a big old pancake. I know. Oh, look at this steak. I'm usually not a. Um, what is it called? Hey, thank you so much. A sweet before savory person. But I think for today I have to be. Can you, can you, can you, can you give me a try? Trying what? <laughs> hey, hey. I'm usually not, I always say this a later, but just like the way it's all creamy and like, what is this? What is, I don't even know, what is this? I don't know, but it looks appropriate. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth, baby. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is gooey and warm oh and... My God. You sneak, you sneak, you already sneaked. This is this a cinnamon roll? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, this is mine, this is mine. What? No, the pancake's better. Then I'll probably like this one way better. Probably. <laughs> monkey, did you see that? Yeah, I didn't see it before. That's the pancake monkey. It's delicious. It's really yummy, look. Come on, get close to the table, get close to the table. Big, big. It's yummy. Ah. <laughs> is it yucky, yucky or yummy? All right, we got the nod of approval. All right, look where we're at. Hey, monkey. I see. monkey we're gonna get a new you. adventure vehicle. It's gonna be awesome. Are you ready? Do you know what that means? Yeah. I'm trying to give him a little face bath. When you get a little bit older, you can sit in the front with mama and papa. This will be awesome. I'm older. You're older already? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. All right. Dun, da, 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 da. Hey, monkey, you gotta get back here. <gasps> look, it's Papa's new truck. Wow. wow, look at this guy. This is in the front. This yeah, is in the front. Yeah. This is in the middle. This is the whole point why I love this truck. This guy can sit in the middle right here. Come on, monkey, go, go, scoot over. Scoot over. Ooh, that's beauty. Yeah, butch. <laughs> I this, love it. This cutie Put your seatbelt on, you little cutie dude. <laughs> Adventure time. Three, yeah, we got three seats here. Mama, That's cool, huh? One seat. How do you feel? I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. Just like a work truck. And we can put this guy in the middle. And then I wanted white because I'm just so tired of the black car because it was scratches, dirt specks, everything everywhere. And I just wanted the exact opposite. I love that it's plastic and rubber. Throw up on this. See if Papa cares. <laughs> My old truck, like he would throw up on the leather. Like, no! But now I'm like, this is our adventure vehicle. I don't care if I get mud, doggy, doggy doo doo. We don't have any dogs, but still, it was awesome. Alright, guys, I literally just got home from the dealership and I was so excited. 
that when the uh, service person was like, you want me to go over all the features of the truck? I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I already have a Silverado. I know everything about it. Let me leave. And that's a lie because there's a bunch of new features on this Silverado and the trim level is just way, way different. So I probably should have, but I'm just so excited. I wanted to come home and explore it myself. The first biggest difference that we all know and why I'm so excited about this truck is that I get to seat six. I have a bench seat in the front and then I have a bench seat in the back so I can seat three and three. And this was like a dream come true because originally I was on the market for an SUV, but you know me, I love, love, love trucks. And the only way to seat more than five is to get something like a Tahoe where you have you know all kinds of seats, but then you lose the functionality of the truck. And the other hard part that I was trying to balance is when you usually get like a bigger motor truck, like the top trim on the engine, like this one's a 6.2 liter VA with over 400 horses, it usually automatically makes everything super nice like a luxury truck and I didn't want that. Like I had like a luxury truck in the old one and it just didn't feel right. Like it didn't feel like my adventure vehicle. So when they came out with this specific model, the Trail Boss Custom, it's a 6.2 liter but with cloth seats and I have a bench seat in the front. I freaking love this. Like when Taika is of age, you can actually drive on the freeway. He could be here, mama could be here. And if we wanted to double date with another family, those three could be in the back right there. So I am so in love with this truck, which is so funny because it's so bare bones and plain Jane. Like you can tell a truck is bare bones when they just have empty squares. Cause that means the upgraded models have things here, you know? And I don't have a center console or anything like that. I don't even have like sunglass holder. I, this, these are probably all buttons for fancy stuff. I don't have none of that stuff. But that stuff actually makes me happy because I, in my other truck, I had the highest trim, the Silverado LTZ, and I didn't really use like much of it. Like I had dual climate AC, but I always synced it, never really used it. And the thing that I was kind of sad about the other one is uh, I didn't have rear vents. So, Taika would be hot as hell and have to wait for the front to get cold before he got any in the back. But guess what? This bad boy actually has rear vents, which is sick, so Taika won't be frying. And uh, one thing that I thought was cool too, I felt this plastic down here. I'm like, oh shit, are these bins or storage or what is this? So we're actually doing this together. We're learning this truck together because I don't even know anything. I honestly should have probably asked them because I don't even know how to lift this, lift this thing. You just, oh, okay, so I guess just lift it up like this. So you can lift it up like that. I got this plastic bin in here. What do I do? If I lift this up too? Sick. Look at that. Got all kinds of storage space. Hey, that's pretty cool. So I can store things. Pretty sturdy. Probably put my luggage. And also, the back of this truck is wider than uh, my last truck, which was cool too, because every time I had to take the car seat in and out, it was kind of a pain in the ass because it just felt so small. But look at this, I can like vlog all the way over here. I can lay down, which is pretty freaking cool. And this center console, like if I wanted to, I can also bring it down too, which is cool. So now I actually have an armrest. So that's what I really love about the functionality of this. With the, how the guy was explaining it to me, he was like, this trim is actually like a work truck trim. Meaning like either like uh, Edison or the police department or a fire department or any of those like type of agencies would get a truck like this where they just need something bare bones. And I'm like, honestly, I think that's perfect. And he was presenting it to me like, I don't know if you want it, especially if you're coming from LTZ where you got leather and heated and ventilated seats and all that. And I'm like, you know what? I never really even used all that stuff to be honest. And this is so perfect i love it i can't wait to modify it put all kinds of really cool parts in it and take it on super sick road trips i am really excited so let's go to the back in the back um pretty standard got the dual exhaust though because it's the big motor inside i've been told i have lights somewhere which i don't even know i don't even have an inliner which i don't mind because i'm gonna get a like a truck vault drawer system but this is pretty much it. I'm super excited about it. I, I, I do gotta change out the front lights because I'm not a big fan of halogens. I want something that has more powerful lights, but check it out, 6.2 liter, baby. I think it looks great. Tired of my black truck, like I was saying. 
So I got this white one, we'll, we'll hide the scratches way better. And I already have some suspension parts ordered. So I can't wait to put my wheels, my suspension, all the little details on so that we can make this a true adventure vehicle. I'm so happy, so excited. And uh, it's gonna be fun. What you got there, dude? I got that, pop it up. Hey, it's like a confetti pop. Yeah. I don't know what that is, I just called it a confetti pop, but you know like those, here, let me show you. Can I have it, monkey? Yeah, yeah can I do that? Yeah, it has a seal on it, but let me take the seal off Mama? and then you pump it. Confetti. My cap in the sky. Busting out. What, baby? You can put that up. You can, but not right now. Why? It's gonna make a big mess, and your mom doesn't feel like cleaning just yet. Okay, I have to put that in the car. Yes, we'll save it for later. But yes, we moved the party outside. You know, whopping 108 degrees, but it's so different out here. It sounds like a lot. It is a lot. No, it's hot. Like, it, don't get it too soon. It's definitely hot. Um, but. It's not humid like the way it is back home in California. And I didn't even realize that it was humid, but that just slight bit of wetness, where if I do this, skin to skin contact, I just feel uh -huh. sticky all day and I'm just sweating. Whoa, and I'm just sweating, yes. Um, so being out here, dry heat, in the shade is actually not that bad. Okay, so yeah, moving it out of here. Just gonna draw a little bit. Don't know what we're gonna draw yet. I found these, I don't remember ever buying these. Never used them before, and Mama, I'm so curious. Mama, I'm making my Pretty cool, yeah? Yes, I'm making that paint, look, paint. Oh, you're making paint? Yeah, we can't find paint. Uh, it's not gonna work like that, but try it, okay. Now what happens? It was a paintbrush. You're stepping on it. The paintbrush. Yeah. Okay, now what? It's working, look. Okay, now what? It's not working, you try that. I'm pretty sure the solution's quite easier, monkey butt. It's not working. I mean, what if you just put the marker on the cardboard? Monkey. Yeah, yeah, what if you just draw on the cardboard? That's blue, it's a tiny bit orange. F you, mom. Yeah. All right, we're not done, but this is still a work in progress. And you're lying if this isn't the best art you've ever seen in your life. You are lying. What you gonna do? I love you. I love you. Yeah, it's uh, it's that hot out here. We're literally just sitting and painting, and it's that hot. All right, so we finally think Taika is of age, so we took him to a bar to drink. You ready to drink, Taika? Oh, a barbecue? No, I'm just kidding. Now I found this place on Yelp, and uh, they got Shabu Shabu, and it's an izakaya place, meaning like tapas, so it's right in front of a bar. And it's so kitty to see this little dude in an adult seat, which is super kitty. But the food looks really good. They have all kinds of bento boxes. We got like oysters. We got that food on action. But I'm here for the shabu shabu. Still trying to stay sexy and, and uh, eat clean, look clean. So I gotta take a look at the menu. All right, this gotta be that new new, because I think this is the only second time I've ever seen that, where they put shabu shabu not in like a metal bowl, but in uh, like a paper cup like this. It's pretty cool. So I always get shabu shabu with water and kombu, so I can taste the flavor of the meat. But this is interesting. All right, you gotta check out the presentation. It's insane. It looks super high quality. Look at this. And got the meat, you got the veggies. Mama's killing it on the cucumbers. Tell me how it tastes. Mmm. It's citrusy. A little bit tangy. They use a sweet vinegar. Yeah. It's and it's just like super refreshing. That's clean. Oh, oh, the oysters are here. Oh, yeah. Oysters. Thank you. Oh, man. Hey, three oysters for three people. Yeah, right. This guy will eat my oysters. Holy shit! Oh my goodness. Wanna try some? 
Here, I'll do it for you. Oh my goodness. So it's gonna it's spill. Gonna you have rice in your hand. How the hell did that happen? Where are they going on? Mama? Uh oh, it fell over? Mama. Party bomb. Cool, thanks. That looks delicious. Alright, right, so we're in the Chinatown part of Vegas right now. We thought it'd be really nice of us to get some pastries for our neighbor because when we first moved in, they brought us that delicious banana bread and I always felt so bad I always want to return the favor and from Chinatown you can straight up just see the wind you can see all these like Asian buildings and we're going to Shanghai Plaza and there's 85 degrees in there yes I know there's 85 degrees literally everywhere but since I'm not that familiar with um well and we don't know how familiar he our neighbor is with like the Asian good stuff. good that's true you know yeah and we're not familiar yeah, so we're not that familiar, so let me just get something that I'm familiar with that I know is going to taste good for sure. And then that way we can establish this CUNY bond that we have. Because the other day I was away from our house for like two days and we had a ton of packages. And he was nice enough to even text me and somehow I even noticed. He was like, hey, uh, I see your truck's not there. Um, do you want me to move all the packages inside of my garage? I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I don't even know who you are. So I just want to you know, establish that super friendly neighbor connection because I love him, he's awesome. Had a super fun, relaxing day with the family today. Always feels good coming back from LA and being able to just spend the whole day with CUNY Mom Bear and CUNY Taika because uh, these days it's pretty busy. You know, we don't have a babysitter, Taika's not in school yet. So we're like super double tasking with JK stuff, Barbell Brigade stuff, the vlog stuff, the podcast stuff while still being uh, mom and dad. So it always feels good to just be able to just hang out the whole day and relax, especially on a day I'm able to pick up a new car. Thank you guys for following me and on our new journey and I am happy to be able to share our new um, Bear Mobile, our new family adventure mobile with you. It's probably gonna be called the Get Lost Mobile because that's what we're gonna be trying to do this year is getting lost way more. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.